I'm Floria Cosplay, and today I will be going over how I made my Royal Zelda cosplay uh, piece by piece. So this is the underdress, and the top layer is a white satin, and between the lining layer and um, the fashion layer, I put a scuba knit, um, which provides a raised effect when top stitched over. Uh, so I traced the design of her undershirt onto the lining layer of the undershirt and then I sewed over top of it to create this effect. And um, then this underskirt is pre-pleated satin fabric that I got from Etsy um, and I just basically sewed it directly to the undershirt. So here is the overshirt for the costume and this is a royal blue velvet with gold satin accents. Each of these uh, embellishments here are uh, different ribbons and appliques that I got on Etsy and on Amazon. This was this was 3D printed and then I uh, coated it in Mod Podge and painted it. The collar is held up with some interfacing uh, so it stays up like this. Um, and these sleeves keep their form with some cardboard in the middle of them. Uh, on the inside of these sleeves is a red satin that I hand stitched into the sleeves as a lining. I like adding little individual touches like these appliques and this ribbon uh, just to make it look like it's mine still. So this is the overskirt of the dress. And this is the same royal blue velvet as the overshirt um, with the same gold satin accents. And then this is an old curtain that I found at the thrift store as a lining uh, so that the train of the skirt does not get dirty during cons or that sort of thing. There are appliques on the skirt as well. So the armbands of uh, the dress and the tabard are made of the same gold satin as the accents on the uh, over dress. Um, and then for these designs, I did use the same technique as this uh, quilting on the undershirt, except that I used a foam instead of scuba knit to give it a little bit more dimension. These buttons are uh, painted gold. I just had them lying around and I really like the design. These are the gloves for the dress. These designs are cut out from a Cricut and these are gold iron-on uh, vinyl. And then these rings are brass rings made by my sister. This is the tiara, uh, Zelda's tiara, and this is craft foam uh, that has been cut out into each of these pieces and glued together. And then I covered it all in a warbler to give it a little bit more of a solid appearance. Um, I painted it all gold. These are red resin gems. The tiara fastens into my head with these wire uh, bits that uh, go around my ears. And then I have these um, just scrap fabric loops that I put uh, bobby pins through. These are the shoes that I use for Zelda. Um, she doesn't really have a canonical shoe that she wears, um, so I went with comfort over style. Um, I did find these gold flats at a thrift store. These Triforces on the front are uh, 3D printed, very similarly to how this brooch is 3D printed. These were uh, covered with um, Plastidip before they were covered in Mod Podge and then I painted them uh, again very similarly to this. Um, and then actually to match the, um, the color of the Triforces on these shoes. Um, I actually painted these front parts a little bit of a darker gold um, and then I glued these directly onto the shoes. This is the last handmade piece of the costume that I have. These actually I made for my Travel Zelda cosplay, um, but I wanted to use them with this as well. So these are white lilies that I got from uh, my local craft store. Um, and I just painted the insides blue um, and painted the top 
yellow here. So this is my full um, Royal Zelda cosplay. Um, if you have any questions about anything else on the costume, please let me know in the comments. I would love to answer any and all questions. Thank you so much for watching.